what does MBA feel like for someone who's coming from a science background? You know, it feels when, you, when you're studying any discipline of science, whether that be chemistry, biology, or physics, for example, I did my bachelor's in industrial chemistry. So when you study chemistry, we're studying basically st chemistry is the study of matter, right? Atoms, molecules, protons, neutrons, the charges between the atoms, the bonds, and technically the universe is made up of matter. It's made up of atoms, so we're studying the universe. You know, we're studying some real stuff. But when you come to an MBA program, you just enter a whole new world. You know, you see that in the real world, which is not made up of particles, the real world is actually made up of people. And there, it doesn't really matter whether you know a lot about atoms and the chemical nature of things or not. <coughs> what matters is how well you're able to comprehend and analyze and understand the world and how well you're able to interact with people. How well can you play into the power dynamics of a society? How, what it takes to add value to society, both in financial terms and economic terms, as well as in social and emotional terms. You know, when, when, you, <coughs> when, when you enter an MBA program, you see that there are lots of people in this world doing lots of things. You know, they're very kind of, you suddenly start realizing that it's time to get up, you know, your, your thoughts and it's just two year program. So after two years, either you have to find a job or you have to come up with your own idea to start a company. And if you want to start a company, then there's a lot of work to do. You know, like the scientific attitude is studying and researching and experimenting and analyzing and just going deeper and deeper and deeper. But from a, for, for a student of business administration, for a student of management, you know, things are to be looked at a more macro level. You know, science is focused on the micro of the universe. Business studies is focused on the macro of things. You know, you do study, you do experiment, but you study and experiment with emotional, uh, you study and experiment with human behavior, with organizational behaviors, with the study, with the effect of society and culture and values a, a culture imposes on certain organizations and how do those organizations deal with the external pressure and how does, how does business happen? You know, like there's, there's like, there's just so much to explain and there's just so much to understand. You know, and one thing about MBA is the people from all kinds of backgrounds coming because when I was doing bachelor's in, chemis in chemistry, only people who have studied chemistry beforehand in school come to do BSc in chemistry. But when, when you're an MBA, people from chemistry are there, people from mechanical engineering are there, people from different kinds of engineering are there, people who did bachelor's in social work are there, people who studied Mandarin Chinese are there, people who have been to different jobs are there, people who have already done their masters are there, people who are already married are there. People who have, who have, you know, been to, like, people from all disciplines, all walks of life, people who have done humanities are there. So that, you know, cuisine that is presented to you and everyone has their own ambition and, you know, and then there's this business world that you're trying to, you know, get, you're just trying that to have some your, of your attention. Uh, you're trying that business will put some attention on you so that you, maybe you can get a job, maybe you can get an opportunity and you're trying to come up with new ideas, you're trying to study new subjects, you're trying to interact with more people, okay, and then you learn about the nuances of interacting with people, okay. If a person of, is of this stature and this caliber, this is how you talk to them. If a person is coming from this certain background, this is how you deal with them, okay. When someone says this, this is what you say. When someone says that, this, that, this is how you react. You know, how you're supposed to be moderate in every situation, how you're supposed to handle your own emotions. Like, these are the things you just don't, think about when you're studying science, you know, it's, it's just a world, it's just a different world. But when you study management, you become more real, you become more practical. And interestingly, I've actually, uh, I've actually come to understand that Islam and our religion and our scripture and our traditions, I can see a reflection of that in management studies. Because this is, in a sense, what Islam, what one portion of Islam is focused at, it's focused at creating the right society, creating the right system of society, which includes business, which includes administration, which includes societal systems and structures.
So a lot of things, how you persuade people, how you convince people, how you add value to people, how you interact with people, like there's a reflection of this. And there's a lot of parallels and uh, similes that, that are similar in the business world and, 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 and in uh, Islam. So, and there are a lot of inspirations from the Quran and the Seerah that can be taken to the business world as well. And, and it, this is something which has been done, in fact. <laughs> so, yeah, th these were some of my few uh, insights and thoughts on how it feels to do MBA for a science student. And I'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.